Um, I was diagnosed with atopic dermatitis at age three. So my father and my aunt who were taking care of me at the time, uh, they were around me the most. And so the symptoms that I um, experienced, again, from their memory, was intense itchiness. I would get very hot um, very quickly. My temperature was not um, being controlled easily again, but flare up and then not only get itchy, but very hot. And then um, I would crack, my skin would be cracked, uh, a lot of lesions. So when water would touch, um, I would be in a lot of pain. Um, but mainly, yes, a lot of itchiness. My initial treatment, um, as far as it was my um, pediatrician, my parents told me that they were given topical steroids right away. Um, they were cautioned to use it sparingly, but still it was advised to use topical steroids. Yes, yeah, so as far as the topical steroids, what they, which symptoms that they helped were definitely the itchiness and even overall appearance. Um, my father told me that the symptoms seemed to disappear really within um, within the week, within the month, it seemed to totally clear up. But then he said that as soon as they stopped applying the topical steroids, the rashes and all the other symptoms would come back with a vengeance. So just much worse than they originally appeared. After using the steroids, um, they would go back and use the steroids again. Um, but they have also tried other forms of treatment as well, such as acupuncture. And um, they told me it's some sort of liquid that the um, pediatrician gave. At some point in my life, yes, I did stop topical steroids completely, but um, they were always that, that crutch, that safety net, I guess. Um, and I always knew that. I was always cautioned against using it too much. So I always knew to use it sparingly. Uh, when I would flare intensely, I do remember my mother just saying, why don't you apply the steroids? And I was always nervous about it, but sometimes I would say that, you know, a special event or I had to travel and it, I didn't want to deal with, um, you know, the itchiness and whether or not I'd be able to go out. I just wanted that band-aid. So I, I did go in a period of my life, it was around my 20, early 20s, where I went completely off of steroids and I just felt that it was the healthier route to go. I went into complete topical steroid withdrawal, um, the red skin syndrome and everything like that. Um, I was still able to live a semi-normal, quote unquote normal for eczema life at the beginning I remember friends saying that I do look like a burn victim and they were worried about me because my skin was so red. Um, and then I noticed my skin was very raw, very tender. Um, and I, I actually didn't know that it was topical steroid withdrawal at the time. I just assumed that it was a very, very bad flare up, but I also didn't put on the steroids because I just, from the beginning, I just always knew that steroids were not good for me. Okay, so when I restarted um, steroids, it was both oral and topical. It was, I was in a situation when I was living on my own on the East Coast, and I, uh, I knew again, I think, um, I think your memory kind of blocks out the bad memories, and it makes you forget the pain that you just went through a decade ago. Um, so in my mind, I was thinking, no, this is just the bandage I need right now and I'm going to use it just sparingly because what, you know, what, it, what harm is it gonna do? Just a little bit every now and then. This is the harm it does, by the way. Um, so I did that, I was desperate. I didn't know what else I could do. I had to work, I had to make money, I had to make a living. And I couldn't imagine not working and not having the money to live. So I put on the steroids, I took the oral steroids as well. Um, and then that's when uh, Dupixent rolled around. When I, so when I heard about Dupixent, I, of course, was very excited about it. The first uh, biologic drug approved by the FDA for ato atopic dermatitis. And when I got it, I was nervous, of course, because it's an injectable. 
Um, but as I used it, I used it for about four to five months. And it can be used at the same time as topical steroids as well. Um, so I did both. Um, I barely use the topical steroids as I normally have my whole life. I barely use them, but, um, but I did use them every now and then for, for patches, especially on my chin, funny enough, and then my chest right here. And as I used Dupixent, I noticed after a few weeks that the itchiness had decreased a little bit by about 30 to 40%. And then I noticed a lot of flakiness, um, but not thick, uh, like lichenification um, of the skin, not that, but very light, fluffy, I guess, flakes. Then I started getting side effects, um, injection site reactions. I didn't realize at the time, but they're injection site reactions. So wherever where I would inject on my body, I would get this numbing sensation. Dupixent was effective um, in helping some of the symptoms to relieve some of the symptoms to a certain degree. Uh, for itchiness, it decreased it about 30 to 40%. But I also noticed that I would still definitely have my intense hot itches in the night. It wasn't a night and day kind of difference, but it was enough that I did notice that itchiness was less and I was grateful for so as far as basic management comes to my eczema, um, it changed throughout my life. So growing up, I always uh, was taught to shower early in the morning, moisturize like crazy, and then run out the door. And I would use a lot of Cetaphil. I like Cetaphil. I've used Vanacream. I've used uh, CeraVe. I've used so many, you know, I've used so many different lotions. And depending what part of my body, I would use thicker lotions or balms or stuff um, and lip balm and stuff like that as well. Um, but as far as cleansing goes, it was very simple. It was always a, um, uh, a cleanser, like a very simple cleanser with no scents or anything like that. I don't wear perfumes um, or anything like that, but I didn't moisturize too frequently because it know, feels uncomfortable. Um, when I was going through really bad flare-ups, that was always interesting. It was always painful to be in the shower ever since I was a kid till now. Um, when you shower, when the water touches your skin, it's like, I mean, I've been reading a lot of eczema forums and TSW forums, and they're not joking when they say that it feels like acid on the skin. It's so painful. Um, I remember as a child, my... My, I remember the cops coming to the house after I would scream when they would try to bathe me or give me a shower at night. So even though it does, it did get me through some hard times, the topical steroids, I'll admit, like, especially when I was a server at a high-end restaurant, it's very, you know, it's about your appearance. So I would use it on my face and it did get me through those shifts at work and it did let me work as a server and it did let me do shows and stuff when I was performing as well but if I knew if I knew um what would happen to my skin after that i I would hope that I would never use topical steroids again yes again topical steroids can be a bandage but ah uh, I don't want to say that it was successful because it also did this uh, a lot of people tell us to just stop scratching and a lot of people tell us that it's just a rash. And I can't tell you how crazy that drives us um, because anyone who has experienced this itch knows that it's a bone deep itch. As far as just eczema in general, topical steroid withdrawal in general, the big point I would love to touch upon is um, the mental and emotional aspect of it. Whenever a doctor would see me, yeah, they would see how bad physically eczema is, but um, they would never ask me if I needed a therapist. I think that when patients deal with a disease like this, which is way more than a rash, please never say that to your patients, it's not just a rash, uh, that really messes with their mind and their emotions, everything. It is so difficult to deal with this um, especially with we live around mirrors, of course, and everyone around you has an opinion because I know that normal, healthy people are able to get a certain 
amount of things done in their week that I can only dream of to get done in two to three months. And that was a very harsh reality for myself. Uh, things like grocery shopping, uh, things like just basic things. And when things would get really bad, even things like the bathing or even putting on or taking off clothing was very painful. And I needed, I literally needed help from other people. So anyway, so there's just so much, um, not to go into it too much, but there's just so much as far as the mental and emotional aspect of eczema. And I think that that is just as much as the physical part. 